What's up, fam? Welcome to the Daily Conversation, where it's truly the coach my favor. Before we get started, I don't care where you are in your journey, if you're on the mat, if you're getting up, if you're climbing the ladder, if you're at the mountaintop, wherever you are, welcome home. All right, today I want to talk to you a little bit about taking ownership and control of your life. All right, all too often, we, we let outside influences, people, environment, surroundings, right, culture, decide what we can or can't do. People's opinions, the, the belief on what we should do or what's the right thing to do, rather than what's in our heart to do. And I want you to know, like, you own your life, every piece of it, every decision you make, everything you do, you own it. You control it. Don't ever, ever, don't ever give someone else that ability or anything else that ability or control over you. Right? Will Smith says something I love. He says, it's not your fault, but it's damn sure your responsibility. And when I hear that line, I think about this. Because there are some things around you that your excuses are valid. Right? Like there are some things that happen that aren't fair. Right? That shouldn't be this way or shouldn't happen that way. And you got a raw deal. I understand. I've been there. I know. I get it. But it's still your responsibility to make something out of it, to keep going, to take control of your life, to take ownership of it and accountability of everything going on. And it's not necessarily everything that happens in it. That might not be your responsibility, your control. But what you do with everything that happens in it is your control. All right? I forget who said it, but a million people say it all the time, and it's true. It's not about getting knocked down. We're all going to get knocked down. We're all going to have failures. We're all going to have mishaps. We're all going to make mistakes. Point blank, period. We're all going to have that. What do you do after it? How do you rebound from it? How do you recover? All right? I'm horrible at golf, right? but I love playing it. Why? Because every once in a while I hit a shot, and I'm like, wow, look at that. I could do this. But I love golf because I can hit three horrible shots and one good one. I'm right back in the hole. I'm competing with the guys I'm playing with. And I'm not nearly as good as them. And that's a lot like life. You can have a couple bad ones in a row. But you hit that one good one and you're right back in the game. So take ownership of what you're doing, how you do it, and your life. Because at the end, it's yours. All right? Peace, love, and happiness. Coach Mike Faber. Hope all is well. Enjoy the fourth daily conversation.